Hi, I'm Heather McLean, editor at SVG Europe, and I'm here with Verizon Media's Darren Lepke, head of video product management. Hi, Darren. Hi, Heather. How's it going? Very well, thank you. Okay, so Verizon Media has been busy with new platform enhancements in our no NAB stage that we're at at the moment in the world. Um, but before we talk about those, can you tell me what the thinking was behind them? What were you trying to solve with these enhancements and why? Sure. So uh, at Verizon Media, one of our core strengths is, is live streaming and specifically around live sports. So uh, first and foremost, you know, whenever we're thinking about product enhancements, we think about live events, we think about our live sports customers. Uh, these are certainly trying times that we're in the midst of currently with the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, but, you know, this is not the time for us, in, in my opinion, to, to walk away from live events. We're, in fact, doubling down on our investment in the uh, tooling and the systems and the services needed to deliver, uh, you know, live sports at scale to a global audience. And so when we're, uh, when we're developing our products and building roadmap, you know, that, that's the first thing in mind. I'd say second, sec second thing we keep in mind is, you know, there are, there are certainly some trends that we've been seeing in the industry uh, that have been accelerated due to the, to the pandemic. Um, Things like, uh, you know, silos within organizations, uh, you know, especially broadcasters kind of collapsing, right? You no longer, uh, you know, see a traditional television group and a digital OTT group and a social media group. You know, all of these things are, are coming together into one group. There is one uh, content business um, that we're seeing. There is, you know, often uh, one uh, P&L that, that our customers are now responsible for. And as a result, of, of these collapsing silos, our customers are asking us to also kind of collapse the workflows needed, um, you know, to deliver content to all of these different destinations. So, so those uh, those things are definitely kind of the the big trends that are that are driving some of our developments today. Cool. So let's talk about your flagship announcement, uh, Verizon Media's Smart Play pre bid. So, what is it, and how will it increase revenues from streaming audiences for those in sports broadcasting? Sure. So Prebid uh, is an open source technology developed by the advertising industry at large. Uh, the intention is to give publishers, the, the folks who actually stream the content, you know, more control over, over the programmatic bidding and you know, programmatic advertising. It's, it's, uh, you know, it's emerged as a result of, of, again, a maturing business, a maturing industry, collapsing silos where, where profitability is, is the number one thing. Uh, OTT and digital streaming is no longer a, you know, a fun experiment on the side. It is their core business. And our customers are doing everything they can to, to maximize revenue. So uh, the previous server is basically um, gives, gives publishers the opportunity or gives broadcasters the opportunity to go out on the open internet uh, to an open series of, of programmatic exchanges and really look for the best advertising opportunities. Um, prior to actually, you know, going through their, their, um, you know, ad buying waterfalls and, you know, whether they're pre-sold inventory or, or other programmatic exchanges. And as a result, you know, when, when folks make these pre-bid calls, you know, prior to doing their ad insertion, you know, they're seeing a lift in, in the yield of their ads, they're seeing better fill rates. Um, so, so it's, it's one thing in a series of, of offerings that we'll make to, you know, again, help our customers ensure their business and, and, and ultimately become more profitable. Great. And now tell me about another one of your announcements, channel scheduling on your streaming platform. So uh, how will that benefit sports broadcasters? Sure. So, so we talked about collapse, uh, collapsing silos. Um, you know, one of the, the core pieces of a, of a broadcast experience is, is the schedule, right? You know, from eight to nine, uh, you watch the pre-show uh, for the event from, uh, nine to eleven, you, you know, you watch watch the football match live, and then afterwards you have you'll have the show, um, you know, the, the post show. Um, the world of OTT doesn't have that that same equivalent, but um, you know, there is a desire in some cases to to create create these uh, linear channel experiences, um, and so uh, we're we're building these tool sets uh, within our platform to give uh, our customers the ability to create a, a channel lineup and to create a kind of a playout schedule. Um, it's, it's very easy to do. It's a graphical user interface. You can drag and drop um, assets onto a timeline. They can be on-demand assets, so they can be pre-recorded and play them out at a certain time. You can mix and match with, with actual live events or linear channels. Uh, you can insert ad breaks um, and you know, enhance your monetization there. And then click publish and it, it becomes a URL that, that plays out um, pretty much anywhere uh, you'd like to publish your channel. 
Cool. And I've picked out just one last um, product that you've announced, Output Syndication. So tell us about that one. Sure. Um, sounds a little bit like a broken record, but again, uh, uh, OTT is not just something people publish to their own apps anymore, right? Like it was a, in the early days, people would, you know, publish a stream to their website or, or publish to, you know, their iPad or, or mobile app. Now there's a whole ecosystem of content partners that our customers are, are leveraging to drive more viewership, to, uh, you know, generate more revenue from licensing agreements or ad, ad sharing or ad revenue sharing agreements. So, for us, you know, with, with these workflows collapsing, with business maturing, now our customers need to publish to, to social media, the same linear channel, maybe the same linear channel you just constructed in your channel scheduler tool. You can now uh, tick a box inside of, the, inside of our control center and uh, seamlessly publish to Twitter, to Facebook, to YouTube, or to Twitch. That's the first four uh, in this ecosystem that will enable. There's you know, an emerging set of digital MVPDs, which our customers are very much interested in publishing to as well, like syndicating live channels and live events to you know, Zumo, to Fubo, to Philo, to all of, the, all of these folks out there in the marketplace. Those are you know, emerging destinations that all have their uh, unique format requirements. They all have unique metadata requirements. And uh, you know, as a result, there's some technical overhead in just making that handshake uh, you know, between the, the two platforms. So that's another thing that we'll, we'll take on as part of this output syndication ecosystem that we're enabling for our customers to make it very easy to have a single workflow for their live streaming published to their own apps and then also published to their partners. Cool. And, and what's the relevance of those latter two products in today's kind of market of lockdown? You know, people shut away. How might that help sports broadcasting? Yeah, sure. So, you know, both of those features, all of our features are, are um, you know, cloud-based. Uh, our, our platform is fully cloud-hosted. Everything's virtual. You can operate it from anywhere. Uh, you know, one of the major concerns we're seeing today in this day and age is just lack of access to facilities for our customers, right? They, in, in previous days, you could send somebody to your data center. They could plug in cables. They could, you know, configure new, new systems. But, you know, with everybody on lockdown and unable to actually access the facilities, uh, we're certainly seeing a trend towards, you know, virtualized um, tool sets into remote production where, you know, you don't have to be physically on premise to, to do this, right? And, and these tools are, are aligned with that. Everything operates in the cloud, you can uh, schedule channels in the cloud, you, you don't actually, you know, have to be on site to do it. So, um, you know, that, that model is, is extremely relevant today um, when, when we're all on lockdown. 